correspondent in New York City. Talk a little uh, markets, Daria, because, um, I mean, this is unbelievable what's going on. I mean, this is literally a Isn't rocket it, ship right up. I, you know, I don't know about you, but it feels like just yesterday we hit 25,000. It's, it's actually been eight days, eight <laughs> trading days, about 12 calendar days. But, wow, I mean... When are we going to hit 30,000, I guess, is, is the main question. At the rate we're going, who knows? Maybe the end of February. I mean, it, 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 there, have been, there have been moments like this where it's been straight up, but, but not many. Not many. And unfortunately, when they, when they go straight up like this, you know what has to happen eventually. No, They're going to go straight no, down. No, no. Let's not no. worry about that, though, right now. Well, not now, until we have to. Now, right? now clear, I mean, we're, 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 it's, it's a global economy, and it seems like um, – this is the rare time in history where Europe, Asia, America are all hitting their stride all at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, it also comes on the heels of a global recession, which, you know, if you believe that everything that goes down eventually comes up, then this is where, you know, this is, this is what is going to happen. I mean, there's a lot of things that are playing into it. I mean, especially here in the United States, you've got um, earning season just underway right now. Things looking really good right now as far as that's concerned. And, you know, as so many people have said that the market right now is so tied emotionally to what's going on on Washington, uh, in Washington, rather, and that tax reform bill has so far, at least from what we've heard so far, been been pretty good for the economy, especially with Apple's big announcement yesterday. Yeah, what did Apple announce yesterday? Apple announced yesterday that it's going to invest $350 billion into the American economy. Now, there are some skeptics saying, yeah, $350 billion for Apple, that's like a $25 contribution, you know, to your favorite charity for most of us. But still, $350 billion is $350 billion. They're going to build another campus. They're going to hire as many as 20,000 workers. And, and uh, Tim Cook said that is a direct reflection of what this cut in the corporate tax rate is allowing his company to do, to invest in employees, to invest in the American economy. They are taking the money. This is all money that they held outside of the U.S., and they're able now to bring right. it back because, of, bring it because back. of the taxes. Absolutely, that's what they said. Twenty, And it was followed not too long after that, McGraw, by uh, Apple, uh, I'm sorry, Amazon's announcement. Um, one, that they've narrowed the list of where they're going to put their new headquarters, and two, that they're going to hire a lot of people as well. Um, now, uh, w w um, w but this has come now, actually, my question is this, we were told that the tax cuts were already baked into the Dow before it passed, but it seems like since it's been passed, it's gone up exponentially since then. So it wasn't baked in, was it? You know what, that, it, it could have been, it could not have been, um, I'm not in the mind of, of every investor right, right now that, that invests in the Dow, every company that that invests in the Dow. So, you know, we have to take those statements at, you know, at face value. This much I will, you know, this much I will say, and you've probably noticed it as well if you're watching the markets, um, it's reacting very emotionally to what's going on. And when, it he when investors hear something of more money becoming available, more money being, being made available, especially to invest in their infrastructure, to invest in their employees, of course they're going to react positively as far as their investments are concerned. Any dark clouds on the horizon you see? Any, well, you know what? This CR is, is kind of scary right now, McGraw. I mean, we've got the House has signed off on it. Um, and the CR, the continuing resolution, right, pro sure. I probably should say, I'm sorry, to keep the government from shutting down in a matter of hours. Now, that, the House passed it last night. The Senate's going to vote on it today. The future of this bill, as far as the Senate is concerned, can only be described as shaky at best. Now, if you look over the past, every time there's been a government shutdown, the markets have also taken a little bit of a break as well. So that may, that may cause some problems. But also consider this. Yesterday, the markets were down, and I know a lot of people said, oh, God, after the big, the big close on, on Wednesday, the markets are down already. They still closed above 26,000. Right. So the gains that we've made you know, over the last couple of months are probably going to sustain the markets, at least for a while. Want to take a guess on when we're going to hit 27,000? No, I don't want to guess. Mm. Uh, <laughs> two, 245 later today, I guess. Uh, there you but, go. <laughs> but but uh, something, something that, that, that I don't think a lot of people are talking about, but, but businesses are, and that is, you know, Tim Cook, as you said, says he's going to hire 20,000 new people. 
Where is he going to get these 20,000 new people? We are already well, at full know, employment. That's, you know, that's, that's a good question. And a lot, of these, a lot of these jobs are going to be in tech jobs. And we know where a lot of tech, a lot of tech employment in the United States comes from. So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, no, I'm right. I mean, it's great that there's going to be a whole you know, lot of jobs. You know, encourage your kid to study STEM. I mean, that's, <laughs> right. that's one thing you could say right now. No. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see where they come from. 20,000 is a lot of jobs. And as you said, we're pretty much at full employment right now. And a lot of companies are having trouble finding the people that, that they want to hire. Daria Albinger, ABC News correspondent. Daria, have a good weekend. Thanks.